Hi everyone, welcome to Spurby Love. Today I'm going to be counting down 10 of the sexiest outfits Mattel made for Barbie from 1959 to 1965. And let's start off with one of my favorites, and it's a short set. Even though Mattel made lots of short sets, this one just hit all the right spots with all the right colors and all the right accessories. What am I talking about? Resort set. Resort set was made from 1959 to 1962 for for four years. So it's plentiful. There's a lot of it out there except for a couple of items out there that make it a little more difficult to get your hands on to complete this outfit. So what's resort set all about? It's all about the legs, of course. Look at the long legs that, my, that Barbie had with these tight white shorts. And you thought they didn't have short shorts. Well, have you ever seen Anne Margaret in Viva Las Vegas? As this outfit hits all the right spots with the white shorts, the sleeveless, yes, a sleeveless striped navy and white shirt, sailcloth red jacket with deep pockets and a collar that's giving it a nautical theme. She's got on these cork white shoes that are wedge style. Her glasses are sun visor and one more item that made this outfit just hit the right spot and that's that sawtooth bracelet. The sawtooth bracelet is one reason I think that Mattel maybe came out with the reproduction set. In 2012 Mattel reproduced this outfit so you could get those little accessories that are so hard to find to get your hands on today. Yes they made that sawtooth bracelet and those white cork shoes. It's really hard to get hold of. The bracelet tends to turn and since it's metal, it will make your Barbie's arm turn green. So, uh, yes, I myself may even go for the reproduction accessories in this one. Even though I like to have the original, I can settle for the reproduction bracelet and the cork shoes. Because those cork shoes fall apart. And if you have a pair that's not, then you're lucky. So this is my pick for the number 10 sexiest outfit from 59 to 65 and you just knew when your barbie had this outfit on she was at the finest resort enjoying the better things of life and she was dressed in style because who else had had an outfit like that and especially that sawtooth bracelet number nine so my number nine pick is a dress that was made from 61 to 64. Mattel made a lot of dresses in this same design. They're called sheath dresses. Now the sheath dress was a really tight, form-fitting dress. And it uh, really showed off Barbie's body, which is another reason a lot of mothers did not want their kids playing with Barbie. But this one, of all the ones that they made, they had made them in silk. They made them with polka dots. They made There was even a floral one, I think. This one just really sticks out in my mind as being... Hey, look at me. And that's the 61 to the 64 red sheath sensation. It's got a square neckline showing off the front. Look how tight it is across the bosom. Even around the back showing the hips. Really small waist. Accentuates the smallness of Barbie's waist. Comes all the way down. Form fitting all the way down to below her knees. I mean, how do you walk in this? Get it, it's just a doll, right? Anyway, this dress has little gold buttons that give it a little bit of shine, a little bit of glamour, a little glamour. To be a little bit uh, sensible, they had these little pockets so Barbie could put her lipstick, I guess, or something. A little change, a little money in when she's on her way shopping at the boutique to buy another outfit. Came with this cute straw hat with a little red ribbon. And so... Nothing screams, look at me, more than this red sheath sensation. So that's why it's my number nine pick on the top ten list. Number eight. So the number eight dress may surprise you just a little bit, but I think it's a very sexy dress. And the name of it just goes along with to show you how sexy it really is. If you wore this dress 
like it was uh, portrayed to be worn and it's called cotton casual. So casual, you don't really think of casual as being very sexy, but this dress is made from 59 to 62, another four years. Another dress that's not very hard to find, but what makes this dress so sexy to me is because it's strapless. In those days, in the in the early 60s, to wear a dress like this would mean that you had no uh, a bra probably underneath it. So that's a little exposure right there that makes it sexy to begin with. And to think about going in the grocery store casually shopping in a dress, a real flared out dress. The flared out dresses were, all, were a thing of the 50s. So it's still got that flair which makes it pretty, but it also has that sex appeal because it is showing a lot of skin, a lot of arm up there at the top. Not so much legs this time, but more up at the top. It's showing her body in its beautiful colors. It's just a fun, fun color with the navy and white stripe in the yellow and orange ribbons tied across her bosom. It's just another dress going through the grocery store. You're going to really turn some heads there, Barbie. So number seven, number seven was put out in 62 and 63 for only two years. So this one's a little harder to find. It's really summery. It's not really a dress, it's not really shorts. What is it? It's a play set pack or a, or a scoop. Scoop play sets is what they were called. Scoop play sets. And boy, do they have some uh, sex appeal. Here is just an overview of what some of them look like. They came in a variety of pack with matching belts and shoes. Um, there's one more that's a dark navy, lighter blue belt. Here's the dark navy one with the blue belt. So I would think you would put blue shoes with this one. They all are very attractive and they're all attractive little outfits. They're all, are the shorts? They're, they're, they're real shorts. They're shorts. But one piece with a big belt just really draws attention to the waistline and shows those legs again. But there's no cover up over this, so it's arms and legs and in shape. So to me, the the one that the number one pick for this of the play sets, the white background with little black flowers with a big red belt and red shoes. It's short, short. It shows the arms. It shows the back. It's low cut neck, form feeding that belt really pulls into that waist. This screams summer, 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 but I'm going to be a little wild this summer. That's what this one screams to me. That's why this is my number seven pick on my top ten list. Wow, what an outfit. Party date. So party date was only made in 1963. So it's a little hard to find, especially in good condition. That's why that one's definitely on my wish list. Your strapless up top, got that flare, but it's got a little bit of extra sexiness to it. It's white with sparkles and gold dimple belt, a gold dimple purse, and clear heels with gold glitter on the on the on the toe, on the whatever you call that part that goes over your foot. So that is kind of reminds me of the Marilyn Monroe dress from the Seven Year Itch, though not quite the same because hers was more of a halter top. But who doesn't love white? A white dress with sparkle, sparkles and shines. It's it's just a beautiful, beautiful dress. So this makes my number six list. I plan it. It's, it's on my wish list. I do want to get that one. It's just so hard to find that it still has sparkles on it. It loses its sparkles over time. See right here, it also was used on one of the Barbie cases, the Barbie and Ken. Look how pretty that is. It's just a beautiful dress. So that's my number six party date. And here we go, my number five, Campus Bell, made in 1965. Why do I like Campus Bell so much? 
Well, a couple of reasons. First of all, it's full of tulle. Who doesn't like, love a dress that's just flowing with tulle all over? And it's white up top. It's very similar to the midge dress seen your prom. Made the same pattern, same everything except colors. This dress is from a series called the 1600 series, which is some of the more expensive and the more unique. And a lot of outfits are only made for one year. Campus Belle. This also reminds me of the Marilyn Monroe picture where she's sitting in the white dress with a tulle all around. Campus Bell is definitely a great number five on my list of sexy, formal, but sexy dress. All right, this is the original from 60 to 64. I'm kind of glad they did make a reproduction of this one because there's little sequin-like sparkles, I don't know what you call it, that's on this dress that tend mm -hmm. to shed and fall off over time. So it is hard to find this dress that doesn't shed so it's really good they made that one but if you haven't seen the reproduction oh did they really overproduce this one in 1994 i think everyone has one if you collected dolls at all in the 90s you probably had solo in the spotlight and it's still a very pretty dress the doll value or the doll the doll quality is nothing as good as the original but it's still a pretty dress and I wanted to mention it. The second one is going to be Evening Enchantment. This is an original in 60 to 63. They reproduced it in 1995. And this is another dress. At one time I had about seven or eight of these dolls. I picked up at a yard sale for $5 each. So yes, they masked, mass produced these dolls. But the quality, when you look at this one in person, if you see it in person, it just the glamour and the elegance of this dress and the sexiness of this dress um just the reproduction just does not compete with it for pick i'm going with golden elegance golden elegance is another one it was made for one year 1963. the hardest thing to find for golden elegance is probably the the fur hat now what i think is so sexy about this dress is of course it's red i love red with gold it's strapless and it's tight fitting. And this is one that I do have is Golden Elegance. And I like it. I love the coat. But this dress really, here's the little purse that goes with it. One of the harder things to find besides the cap is also it comes with brown shoes. But what makes this dress just really beautiful? It looks elegant. It looks formal. But when you take the coat off... Without the coat, Golden Elegance is a showstopper dress. It's a tight-fitting dress that's sleeveless, and it's cut way low in the back. It fits like the sheath dresses. Guess this is a type of sheath dress. Guess this is a type of sheath dress also, but the colors are just fabulous, and Barbie just looks so wonderful in this outfit. My red's just messing up her red. I love red, if you didn't notice. But, uh, yes, this is my number four pick, Golden Elegance. Number three. Number three is a dress that just uh, blew me away the first time I ever saw it. I've wanted it for so long. I got half of it now. Half. Maybe that in the sky. I got half of it. And it is da -da 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 -da, Black Magic. Black Magic was made 64 and 65 for two years. It's still a expensive dress. It's hard to get on eBay. It's hard to get out when you're thrifting. I did find the cape. So what could be prettier than a black sheath dress that is so classy and so pretty? Well, I'll tell you what. A black sheath dress with a clear netting cape over it. Is that just not blow your mind? I just think this is one of the sexiest dresses, close to the sexiest dress. I just love, love, love this one. 
with the long black gloves. Um, and it's on a really pretty Barbie in this picture. Can't wait till I finally finish my Black Magic Ensemble. So for number two, number two is a dress I had to think long and hard to see which one. Black Magic was really up there with me, but I found one that I think I'm going to put above Black Magic. And I'll tell you a couple of different reasons why I chose this one is number two, and that's Arabian Nights. Arabian Nights is just, it's, it's a silky, satiny dress with just, it just glimmers. It's got that cape that goes over the head. It's kind of mysterious. The jewelry is just beautiful. I love the long skirt. And here is one that I have. And another thing that I like about it so much is it shows just a little bit of the belly. You don't see many, many outfits that show the skin of the, of the, of the belly right there. Arabian Nights does. I love the necklace on it. I think I love this kind of stuff. I think this is having this cape or a wrap that goes up around her like this is exotic. Beautiful and it's so sexy and I just love, love, love this dress. And my number one favorite sexy outfit, I'm going to be honest, when I got this outfit and I do have it, uh, kind of blushed when I saw it in person. It is a 90, but it was like, oh my gosh, they actually made this for a doll. It's really beautiful and it's called... Da -da -da -da. Sweet dreams. Yes, the sweet dreams. It also comes, look how see-through, you can see right through this. It's a sheer, sheer material, low cut with these little bitty straps, short, short pajama bottoms. Um, it just blew my mind and I've had this for a long, long time. It's not expensive at all, but what is expensive in this, if you find it in, finding this one in pink, Oh, wow, that is a task, and it's very expensive. I'm thinking of trying to dye one of my yellow ones. Uh, the yellow ones are very inexpensive into this pink. But when it comes to sex appeal, this little pajama set, this shorty nightgown, um, see-through, very revealing outfit, has to top my number one uh, outfit. Like I said, when I first got it, I blushed so I don't know how more any other outfit that's done that to me personally so that's why I picked sweet dreams but I like prefer the pink over the yellow but they're both really cute and the yellow one's very affordable so that's my so that's my top 10 uh, maybe they're not in the correct order tell me what you think comment below do you agree do you disagree